pace up the mini mock test 3 for upcoming UGC NET and JRF exam. The question number 1 is the combination of an IP address and a port number is known as. So we have discussed in our computer network that IP address plus port number by combining both it becomes socket number or socket address isn't it. So very conceptual question from the computer network very very important subject for uh, UGC net and JRF for computer science applications. So option B is the correct answer guys. So it is our mock test 3 for UGC net and JRF preparation and first two mini mock tests are already uploaded link is given in the description section. So if you have uh, didn't go through them then must go through them because they are very very important MCQs expected MCQs and they may ask directly concept from this because it is the best way to solve all previous year UGC net JRF questions before attempting exact UGC net paper because it is a convention it, it is a tradition in UGC net that they ask exactly 20% questions many times exactly from the previous year papers just need to pace up with them that is why for pacing up that kind of questions we are started our mini mock test and we are going through it right question number two is consider a subnet with 720 routers if a three level hierarchy is chosen with eight clusters each contain nine regions of 10 routers then total number of entries in routing table is so it is a three level hierarchy it is clearly observable as eight clusters are there and then regions are there and then routers are there so for 10 routers we will need to make entry 10 because each router will consist the information of each other router including itself and regions are nine regions so at least each region each router will consist of the eight regions entry in that means eight region entry should be there and uh, we have eight clusters so for each clusters it will uh, it will store the information of seven other clusters so after adding seven plus eight that is 15 plus 10 equals to 25 so minimum entries in the routing table should be 25 option a is the correct answer the next question is a cpu handles interrupt by executing interrupt service subroutine by by checking interrupt register after execution of each instruction or by checking interrupt register at the end of first cycle or whenever an interrupt is registered or by checking interrupt register at a regular time interval so question is cpu handles interrupt by executing interrupt service subroutine actually uh, execute uh, interrupt service subroutine by checking interrupt register after execution of each instruction after execution of each instruction it will check that whether cpu is uh, free or not so by the process it can handle the interrupt so option a is correct answer means after execution of each instruction it will check for the interrupt option a is the correct answer the next question is in a class full addressing the ip address with zero as a network number so in a class full addressing if the ip address with the zero as a network number basically it represents current network it represents current network so option a is the correct answer which one of the following non functional quality attributes is highly affected by architecture of software so performance is affected by uh, architecture of software because if architecture is low complex it will have low complexity then performance will be better efficiency will be better right reliability is also depend on the architecture of software and portability is also depend on architecture of the software but usability is doesn't depend on the it is not a attribute of an it is a non-functional quality basically usability is a non-functional quality which is not not that much affected by the architecture of a software right depend on the functionality basically the next question is which of the following is used to make an abstract class actually in c++ if we go through the abstract class complex then at least we need to make at least one member function should be there and it should be pure virtual it should be pure virtual making at least one member function as a pure virtual function if it, if it matches then uh, we can uh, say that uh, it is used to make an abstract class so option a is the correct answer 
the next one is function of memory management unit is so function of memory management unit is address translation very easiest kind of question basically they all are theoretical kind of questions no need to explain that much in logic things because uh, basically they are conceptual question if you know the concept you can directly answer right so there why th that's why we are solving this session so that you can get at least the uh, concept and you can uh, go through the previous year ugc net jra because all these questions are the part of previous 15 to 20 years of ugc net and uh, jrf cs papers which i have collected for you because uh, they may ask because ugc net is trending that at least 15 to 20 percent question they repeat but student don't know because they don't go through the previous year paper so there is a just revision means in 15 to 20 percent approximately 10 questions are directly asked they from previous year gate exam or it office or exam or previous kind of exams and 5 to 10 percent from its it, it, it itself as it from previous year questions including aptitude or whatever so that is why we are going through it right and it is very very important to solve this kind of sessions and to press a mini mock test it clears concept it clears best pattern because exactly these questions were asked in the ugc net means the pattern level of the exam is same as we are discussing right so there there isn't any kind of negative marking in the ugc net paper now so no need to get more confusion because uh, you can attempt all the question in limited time but uh, it is better to main, maintain accuracy okay the next question is in an operating system indivisibility of operation means indivisibility of operation means suppose a process is came to execute then until and unless that process completed or executed successfully it will not be stopped or it will not be suspended in be, be, uh, uh, until and unless it will be executed completely means processor cannot be preempted in meanwhile executing the process so it is the mean meaning of indivisibility of operations okay option c is the correct answer i am repeating again in an operating system indivisibility of operation means suppose the process p is there until and unless this process is get executed completely we cannot stop the system we cannot stop this process okay this is the meaning of indivisibility of operations so option c is the correct answer the next question is which of the following is not a lousy compression technique so basically jpeg mpeg and fft they all are logi compression techniques right you can change their uh, uh, compression but arithmetic coding is basically entropy based coding it is a entropy coding you can say that right that is why it is not a logic compression but entropy coding it is used in the compression techniques so arithmetic coding is not a logic compression technique so option d is the correct answer and the next one is which tag is an extension to html that can enclose any number of javascript statements i hope you all know this question very very easiest question a script tag is there a script tag is there which is used to enclose any number of java script statement in that right so option a is the correct answer and guys i am requesting you just subscribe our youtube channel to get much more mcq session like that and to pace up with us have a very very nice day guys jai hind jai bharat if you any kind of doubts or queries just comment us i will try to solve them as early as possible take care guys and stay tuned with us